don't know that I, I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. And I got all my life to live, and I've got all my love to give, and I'll survive. I will survive. YouTube star, mellow debutant, Vlad Razor. Hello. Hi. Now, welcome to the Melody Festival and Contest. Was it such a shock for you to get the opportunity to go to Mellow? Yeah, yeah, man, absolutely. It's crazy. Um, this is my first time actually performing on stage, so it's super crazy. Well, of course, people out there know in the YouTube world, they know you. You've got over 400K subscribers. You know what you're doing. You know how to make a video. Right, yeah. yeah. And I, it's so unbelievable that th you say this is your first time. Yeah, it's my first time. Because you know how to sell. <laughs> you're on that <laughs> stage and you're doing the choreo. But how much work did you have to put into it? Because you, as you mentioned, you know, this is completely new for it's you. Completely new for me. And I'm, you know, up against all this absolutely oh, amazing artists. And it's just, I'm super humbled to be here, to get the opportunity to show me. Uh, because I really want to do this. Yeah. Um, I decided I really want to go into the art artist world. Right. And uh, but it's scary. It's scary because you know everything can go. Everything can go wrong. Yeah. And it's a bit different right. than having a video that you can edit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Exactly. You know, it's and it's live. So my biggest fear was actually to perform in front of a live uh, live audience. Yeah. Which I did yesterday. Yeah. So I'm done here. <laughs> well, hey, you did it yesterday and you yeah. actually I don't know if you saw about the polls because you know the Melody Festival Club they do these exit polls yeah and the audience voted you fourth place so if that holds true tonight that means you're going to under Shanshan at least right perhaps if they see it on TV you might even be higher so All right. what's your reaction that's to awesome I didn't know about that I don't know yeah, usually it makes people more nervous to know yeah. this no I'm good you know I'm not nervous because like um as I told you, I was most mostly afraid of uh, last night right. to perform into, uh, in front of a live audience. Yeah, That was my biggest fear. So let's see, uh, how did you get to this moment? Because of course you have a lot of, uh, you've done a lot of YouTube. Yeah. And you had a song, Prankstar, uh, was it, that yeah. you released? Yeah, it was just a, like a it, joke for song. For fun. Yeah, yeah, just for fun. So what, how did this happen? You woke up one morning and you're like, Right. I want to be an artist, or were yeah. you always thinking this in <laughs> your mind? I just decided. No, I, uh, actually no. Um, I was actually really afraid of singing mm -hmm. my whole life, as, especially when I moved to Sweden when I was nine years old. Um, I was like really low with my voice, and I was just like really shy and scared to speak. But um, yeah, and w when it came to singing, it was just a big no-no for me because um, I was so afraid. And so I think it was like a year ago. My manager called me. No, no, not my manager. Uh, just a friend called me and yeah. he's like, hey, what's up, bro? Yo, I know we're like a producer. Do you want to make a song? And funny thing is, just like a week before that, I was just sitting at home, you know, late at night editing my videos. I was feeling kind of shit. Mm -hmm. And I was just, you know, listening to some beats and I was freestyling. Yeah. And it was so fun. And I was like, oh my God, this is this is so fun. Because I was, I was actually finding a good flow. Yeah. And I'm like, shit, I wish I could make a song. And so next week he calls me and he's like, you want to make a song? I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go. And so that's where I started. Right. Slowly. Well, because you edit your videos, right? Yes, sir. And the thing about music is it's about rhythm. It's about feeling it. Yes. And so is editing. So perhaps it was yes. a natural transition to get into the music side. You feel the rhythm of the clicks. Now you feel the rhythm <laughs> of the music. <laughs> I love that one. But because yeah. a lot of YouTube stars also, they do that as well. Yeah. But how many can deliver in front of 3 million viewers? Well. I think this guy can. <laughs> Thanks, man. Now, you're doing a lot of choreography as yes, well. Yes. So, w were you always a dancer or is choreography new for you? New. Wow. It's new for me. Dude, I can yeah. say, like, honestly, you're yeah. pulling it off. Because I'm going to be honest. When I yeah, first yeah, saw yeah, the you, name, you I was like, yeah, all right, YouTube guy is going to go up. Number one, probably a humor song. Number two, just going to stand there and, you know, just talk or yeah, whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And then when I heard the song, I was like, wait, it's more serious. Yeah, exactly. And then when I saw you on stage, I'm like, okay, you, you are really, you're selling it off. You're a performer. You. And Thank it's you. so crazy to see that, that you've never done this before. Yeah. And uh, how hard did you think you had to work to get the choreo and to get to this level right now? Right. I worked a lot. Uh, I'll be honest. I've worked a lot. Um, so the past, uh, I think, month, since start of January, uh, I worked like my ass off completely yeah. every day. So both uh, in dance, in song, in rhythm, and all of the exercises for my voice, because um, it's, it's completely new. And like my development, 
curve it, it's been like that like it, it was so hard and i was like shit i'm not i'm not gonna make it it was like tears and stressful and at the same time i was making my youtube videos yeah. and then it just went up and up and up and better and better and now right now here um i think like because you know i see the other artists and their management and i can honestly say that i think that me and my crew we have the most fun here yeah. because i'm just i don't know I ju i'm just completely fearless at yeah. this point yeah because uh it's just so much fun, yeah. you know, it's just so much fun. Yeah. And uh, maybe I can forget a step here and there, yeah. but it's fine, it's, it's okay. Yeah. And I know it's my first show, and I'm just super happy to actually deliver. Yeah. And that's why I'm here, because I want to perform. Now, do you see this as a, as a step more into the music business, or is it something you're going to do, it goes successful, and you go, okay, done that, but do you want to do more music? I want to do more, I want to do more. Yeah, well, yeah interestingly, really. you're, you're originally from Belarus. Yes. And I don't know if you know how the Belarus selection works, but literally anyone can apply. They have these crazy open auditions. Mm -hmm. So if maybe Melo doesn't work out, is perhaps representing Belarus? Or what's your thoughts on this? <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Going back there. Uh, it'd be fun, actually. Why not? But I think I'm not going to... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to continue with the music, though. Yeah. Like, uh, we have a couple of songs in the making right now. Cool. And uh, it's really fun. And the most fun part is actually top lining. Right. So to actually find a melody and flow. Right. That, that's how I started. Right. Just just freestyling to beats and now. Let the music come out. That's yes. you. Yes. The song itself though, it's it's serious. Yeah. It's not. It's it's called Naked in the Rain. Knock night on it. But yes. but why did you decide to do something serious? Because of course, if you did something with a little bit more humor, your fans would love it. They're yeah. known for yeah. you know your sense of uh, humor, your personality. Why yeah. serious? Yeah. It's just I, I love variety. Um, I don't niche myself anymore. I started out with YouTube uh, and I only did pranks with my friend. It was like at the golden age of pranks with uh, Romanat with the Vitali City TV and everybody was like, oh my God, it's so crazy, those pranks in the street, oh my God. Yeah. And we were like, yeah, hell yeah. So we did that for two years, maybe more. Uh, got like, no, oh, like two years. Got six, 600K subs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we were like the only prank channel in the whole Scandinavian. Right. And after a while I was like, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm just bored of pranks now, so I, I just we just quit like straight up. You started your own thing. Yeah, it's like I don't want to do it anymore. It's not fun. Um, so I started my vlog channel. Been doing that for two years as well. No, two and a half years, mm -hmm. and it's up in four hundred and twenty thousand native Swedish. Uh, That's a crazy subscribe. segment it's of crazy. the population. It's crazy. There's only like ten million people here. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and yeah. So, th but that's what I, re I realized. Like, I'm a person who l really loves doing things, just developing mm -hmm. and, and and getting better at it. Um, and I don't niche myself anymore. Right. So and so with the music, I want to show more of my serious side and like dig deeper into myself as a uh, poet, perhaps. Yeah. Like, uh, who are you? Like, who is what? Who am I today? Yeah, who exactly, like, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Because I feel like I have all those different kind of personalities. Um, uh, on YouTube and my life with different friends. It's like, there's so much and I really want to find myself yeah. uh, through and music and through videos. see it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? And I j just because I want to showcase that you, uh, you shouldn't be afraid to, to, um, to do stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, as this is going on YouTube, and a lot of people who uh, watch this on YouTube also do YouTube. Yeah. What advice do you have? Because you've been so successful. You had, of course, uh, 600K with your previous channel, and now your personal vlog. Yeah. Over 400K. What do you think the success is uh, um, for a YouTuber? Okay. So the first one, which is also the most hardest one, <laughs> is actually consi consistency. You have to upload. You uh, can't say, oh, this one's not good enough. You know? No, no, no. You Don't do it. Don't do it. But at the same time, um, Upload more, yeah, upload more, definitely. Um, and uh, also, try and do stuff. <laughs> it's like you really have to think about what, what works on YouTube. Uh, because some people are like, yeah, we, we don't wanna follow trends. Well, you have to follow trends. Uh, you really have to follow trends. And here's a super secret for you guys, uh, which I don't share to anybody. Except you, me, and the mic. Yes, and exactly. But it's uh, watch YouTubers from other countries and just see Even what they are doing. Even if you don't get the language. Even if you don't get language, you'll get their vibe, and energy speaks for itself, really. And um, you will get their ideas, because different countries do YouTube in a different way. And so you can get some good ideas, and you can apply it to your channel. So for non-Swedish speakers, that means subscribe to Vlad. <laughs> even if you don't know Swedish, you're going to learn a lot <laughs> exactly. from his videos. Exactly. Now, to finish this all off, because I know you got a busy day today. It's the big Saturday show. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've uh, heard of something called karaoke tag. All right, what is that? First I was afraid, I was petrified, 
Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. I grew strong, and I learned how to get along. So you're back from outer space. I just walked in find you when that's a look up on your face I should have changed that super long I should have made you lead the key Ain't I am known for just one second You'll be back to bother me Go on or go Walk out the door Yeah, just turn around now Cause you're not welcome anymore No, no, no Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with a goodbye? Do you think I crumble? No. Did you feel that I'm dying? Oh no, not I. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. And I got all my life to live, and I've got all my love to give, and I'll survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. Vlad Razor, thank you so much. On the stage tonight, break a leg. Yeah, we'll will. see you dancing in the rain, <laughs> or naked. Thanks, man. Thanks. Good luck.